Hello. In this video, you will see how to connect digital product release to various DevOps tools, such as Azure DevOps. We will look at the choices that you have in terms of integrations with DevOps tools, connect to Azure DevOps from digital product release, install the service now DevOps extension from Azure DevOps Marketplace, and then set up webhooks so that data from Azure DevOps can come to ServiceNow automatically. To begin, log into digital product release as a release administrator. For example, I have logged in here as Andrew, and Andrew is a release admin. This will ensure that the user has appropriate roles to be able to connect to various DevOps tools and build those integrations. On the home page, you will see various options, and one of them is to connect to your tools. Please click on that. You will be brought to a list where you will see all of the existing tools connected. Click on the button for connecting tools, and then you will be provided with choices of various tools that you can integrate with. Digital product release leverages the integrations that come from the DevOps Change Velocity product so that you are able to connect to various CI/CD pipeline tools, uh, as shown here. You can connect to various planning tools, various code repo tools, and so on and so forth. In our example here today, we are going to connect to Azure DevOps, so please select that. In Azure DevOps, you are given a choice to either connect at an organization level or at an individual project level. If you connect at the organizational level, then you will be able to get data from various projects within that organization at once, or you can choose to connect at the individual project level. Here, we are going to connect to an organizational level. In order to do that, you will need the URL for that particular Azure DevOps organization. Please get that from your uh, ADO admin. In this case, this is the URL that I'm using, and then provide a name uh, for your tool. And this will now start a playbook that will guide you through the rest of the steps. One of the first things that you'll need from here on is a personal access token or a password to be able to make the connection. You will need to get this personal access token from your ADO admin. Please ensure that that personal access token has appropriate permissions. Please put that in and then click connect. The system ensures that the personal access token that you have used has appropriate permissions to be able to get data from Azure DevOps into ServiceNow. In this case, the personal access token that we used has all the appropriate permissions, so we get all green. So please click Next. Now, if you want to restrict access to this particular tool that we are just creating, to only a few users and not have everyone have access to it, you can choose to restrict that using this row level permission capability. In this case, we are going to skip it. And now this brings us to a key step in this process to be able to establish the bi-directional connection between Azure DevOps and ServiceNow. One thing you're Azure DevOps admin will need to ensure is that they have installed the ServiceNow DevOps extension in Azure DevOps. To do that, please ask your Azure DevOps admin to go to ADO Marketplace. So what you're seeing here is Azure DevOps Marketplace screen, and then search for ServiceNow DevOps. And the very first listing that you see here is the extension that needs to be installed. Go ahead and install it. This needs to be installed in that particular organization that we are connecting to. Just hit install. And now that particular extension is installed in the organization and we can proceed to our next steps. You saw just now where the steps that your ADO admin did in Azure DevOps. Assuming that that is done, just come here and hit Mark as installed.
With that, we have successfully connected to Azure DevOps and to that particular organization in Azure DevOps. You can now see the projects that are part of that organization and you can select the ones for which you want to set up a webhook so that the objects from those projects such as plans, repos, pipelines will get automatically synced up with digital product release. For our example, we are going to select Parse Unlimited as a project to select that and hit configure. This is going to push a webhook automatically on that project to establish the connection. And with this, we have successfully connected to Azure DevOps. The data from the project that we configured will now get automatically synced up and will be available for all of the rest of the release activities. You can from here on go back to the home page or you can choose to just select the tool record and this is the tool record that is available. Right? With this, we have connected the tool. We focus today on Azure DevOps, but as you saw in the demo, the, the same process can be used to connect to many other DevOps tools. We just looked at how to connect external tools such as Azure DevOps and many others with ServiceNow digital product release and set things up so that data from these tools can come to ServiceNow automatically. Thank you for watching this video. Please go to the community page for digital product release on ServiceNow communities to get access to additional resources. Thank you.